Chapter 2, Nightlife. For the rest of the day, I felt sad, sad, sad. You look sad, Humphrey, Golden Miranda said while, uh, when she was cleaning my cage right before lunch. According to the chart, Miss Mac had left, and it was her, t- her turn to take care of me. Thank goodness, Miranda was the best cage cleaner and never said a yuck. She put on throwaway gloves and cleaned my potty corner and changed my bedding, gave me fresh water, and finally, oh joy, gave me fresh grain, some lettuce, and mealworms. This will make you happy, she said, as she slipped me the special tree she brought from home, cauliflower. Naturally, Miranda had a good taste. I promptly saved it in my cheek pouch until I could store it in my sleeping house. Hamsters like to stash food for the future. After my cage was taken care of, I felt well enough to observe Miss Brishbane more carefully. Now, Miss Mac was tall, who wore bright bra- a bright brass blouse, short skirt, and high shoes. She wore bracelets that jingled jangled. She spoke in a loud voice and waved her arms and walked around the room when she taught. Miss Brishbane, on the other hand, was short with short gray hair, who wore dark clothes and, f- and flat shoes, and she didn't jingle jangle at all. She spoke in a voice just loud enough to hear and sat at her desk or stood at the chalkboard when she taught. No wonder I was feeling drowsy after lunch. All that nice food and all that soft talking. Is all that hamster does do sleep? She asked at the point, one point when she was glancing over at my cage. Well, he's Turtle, replied Raise Your Hand Heldy Hopper. Raise Your Hand Heldy, Miss Brisbane, said Miss Brisbane. What is Turtle? You know, Turtle. He sleeps during the day, said Heldy. I was wide awake now. Nocturnal, I squeaked. Hamsters are nocturnal. Oh, you mean nocturnal, said Miss Brisbane, almost as if she could understand me. She turned and, and wrote the word on the board. Can anyone else name an animal that what that's nocturnal? Owls, said Heldy. Raise your hand, Heldy, said Miss Brisbane, but that answer is correct. An owl is nocturnal. Anyone else? A voice shouted out, my dad. Miss Brisbane looked around. Who said that? He did, AJ. Gurf Tugwell pointed at AJ. Both boys sat at the table nearest to my cage. What about your dad, Miss Brisbane asked. AJ swarmed in a seat. Well, my mom always says that my dad is nocturnal because he stays up too late watching TV. Stop giggling, Gail, and a few others soon snickered. Miss Brisbane did not crack a smile. Her use of words is correct, she said, though technically humans are not nocturnal. Any others? Eventually, the class came up more animals. <coughs> came up more animals named of nocturnal animals like bats and coyotes and possums. And Miss Brisbane said that the class would be learning mo- more about animal habitats later in the year. She, if she looked just looked at me, I could, she could learn a lot. But I no, noticed for the rest of the day, Miss Brisbane stayed far away from my cage, as if I had the disease or something. She read a mighty fine story to us in the afternoon, though, in fact, I could get back to my nap afterward. I couldn't get back to my nap afterward. It was about a scary house and these scratching noises and a ghost. Thump, thump, thump. The ghost came down the hall. Oh, I had shivers and quivers. I have to say, Miss Brisbane knows how to read a story. Her voice changed and and her eyes got wide and I forgot about her gray hair and her dark suit. To squeak the truth, my fur was on end. The story had a funny ending because it all turned out the ghost wasn't a ghost at all. It was an owl. At the end of the story, everyone laughed, even Miss Brisbane. I was beginning to think that the new the, that new life with this new teacher wouldn't be so bad, but I changed my mind when the bell rang at the end of the at the end of the day, and all my classmates raced out the room, leaving me alone for her. She erased the chalkboard, gathered up her p- papers. I could could tell that we were going to be home soon. Suddenly, I began to worry. What if Miss Brisbane leave me in a scary house? Lived in a scary house with a spooky noises and a thumping ghost. Or even worse, what if Miss Brisbane had a scary pet like a dog? My name was ra- My mind was racing as fast as I was spinning my wheel. When she finally approached and looked down at me, frowning. Well, you're on your own now, she said. With that. 
She closed the blinds and walked away, but I could hear her mutter, rodent, under her breath. She left the room and closed the door. She left me all alone, all alone, room 26. I have never, ever been alone before.